Madison Square Garden's Felt Forum. We are just about set for this big 10 round heavyweight bout featuring undefeated Mike Tyson. Warmed up, loosening up, and ready to go. Looking for knockout number 14. That's his opponent, Sammy Scaff from Russell, Kentucky. In his last fight, he was in against Tim Witherspoon. Sammy Scaff with a record of 13 and six. He weighs about 250 pounds. He stands 6'5". From Russell, Kentucky, he is 29 years old. He has 11 knockouts in his 13 wins. Early in that fight against Witherspoon, he used his weight to bully Witherspoon around, push him around a little bit, and hang in there in the early rounds. But as the fight wore on, Sammy Scaff wore down, and Witherspoon, a former heavyweight champion, was able to take advantage of the defensive deficiencies of Sammy Scaff and watch out for the right hands of Tim Witherspoon. A right uppercut will hurt Scaff, and an overhand right puts him down. And though Scaff got up, the referee stopped the fight. Sammy Scaff, the big man in against Mike Tyson tonight. We are set for the introductions to the opening bout. Let's go to ring announcer Marvin Goldberg. Good evening, boxing fans. Welcome to the Felt Farm of Madison Square Garden. The officials are assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission, Chairman Jose Torres. The timekeeper, Freddie Abattiello. The judges, Billy Graham, Bernie Freakin, and Eva Shane. Referee for the first bout, Fred Yusey. This bout, 10 rounds in the blue corner from Raceland, Kentucky, wearing black and green trunks, weighing 250 pounds, with a record of 13 and 6, 11 by KO's slamming Sammy Schaff. And in the red corner from Caskill, New York, wearing black trunks, Weighing 215 with a record of 13 and 0, 13 by knockout, Mike Tyson. 10 rounds. Kevin Rooney in his corner. Joins Mike Tyson in the center of the ring. Fred Yusey with the instructions. In the unlikelihood that this goes the distance, the judges will score, three judges at ringside score the fight. Judges are Billy Graham, Bernie Friedkin, and Eva Shane. Now look at the height yeah. difference, at least six inches. What does Tyson have to do to get inside? Do you know what that means to Tyson? That means that he has in front of him a very large target. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Scheduled for 10, but don't go away. in got in a short left hook there's a big left hook and that rocks Sammy yeah, Scaff sure early did. it sure did there's a right hand he's he's Gaff's going to work wobbly. he's taking his time he's pinpointing his punches he's not uh he's not over anxious that's the first punch he's missed so far look at the legs look at where the power comes from yeah. when he bends and, and gets his body into those punches you gotta watch this one real close blood coming from the nose of Sammy Scaff already a big left hook got in there he might have broken his nose That's already. Right. That's right. It looks bad. Scaff is on the run. Blood just pouring down from the nose of Sammy Scaff. Tyson does not throw wild punches, Sam. That's Big left hook. Good left hook. And there is Scaff down. down. Three, four. The count Sammy is five. For the rest of the year. Six. The count seven, is seven. This eight, one's over. Nine. This one is over. It's all over. He tried to make it. Sammy Scaff tried to get up. His nose oh is cut. Look at the side oh of his nose my. there. He's uh, breathing and nose is just pouring out. I, I gotta believe he broke his nose with one of those I left hooks. I think that might even be a tear on the side of that nose. Wow. Well, <laughs> he gave everybody what they expected. He didn't keep them long, I'll tell you that, Sam. Everybody who came early, our first fight of the evening is the Tyson fight and he didn't keep them very long. Here's Jose Torres, the New York State Boxing Commission chairman, and another custom auto protege. And certainly there's got to be some strong feeling inside uh, from Jose Torres about the performance of Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, very calm, 
and showing some concern going over to the corner of Sammy Scaff to make sure he's okay and asking the doctor if he's okay but watch the power watch the left hook rock Sammy Scaff here bingo and what you said is right those punches are short and powerful right. he went down in sections uh, he tried to get up he struggled trying to get up but there was no really no need for it he couldn't continue he was completely defenseless and I called him a thunderous puncher before and that's a pretty good word oh, I, think. I think so that that applies perfectly Mike Tyson is getting to that point where uh, he will have to be tested by a better quality opponent Sammy Scaff as we mentioned a journeyman heavyweight uh, who has been knocked out now seven times uh, has 13 wins this man for fighting professionally only nine months John he shows a lot of good technical he's got skills. poise he's got poise Sam it came it seems uh, it seems as though it comes natural to him he's got great poise for a young man who has only had this is his 14th fight uh, very few rounds actually but he's got a lot of poise a lot of professionalism in he acknowledges the cheers of the crowd let's get the official time for Marvin Goldberg the time one minute and 19 seconds of the first round Winner by TKO, Mike Tyson. Let's give a big hand to Sammy Schlapp. Mike Tyson makes it 14 straight knockouts, 10 in the first round. You know, in 14 fights, he's only fought 21 rounds. That's what I meant with a very little time in the ring with all those fights and fighting 10 rounders. Again, Scaff just wildly throwing. There's the left hook. Actually, he hit him with the uh, with the almost his wrist on that last left hook he threw. Scaff was hurt earlier yeah. by those lefts and rights. Mike Tyson will join us momentarily at ringside. Another solid performance by the powerful Mike Tyson, who is now 14 and 0 and continues his march upward in the heavyweight division. Stay with us. John will be talking with undefeated. Mike Tyson in just a moment. Welcome back to Madison Square Garden's Felt Forum, where you're seeing a man move toward a tremendous goal, the heavyweight championship, Mike Tyson. He's the up-and-coming star of the heavyweight division. He's with John Condon right now. Let's go to John. Mike, you didn't keep us very long, or you didn't keep a lot of the folks who came to see you very long. There are a lot of people who say that uh, you are ready right now to fight anybody in the top 10. How do you feel about that? I feel the same also. But the problem is, I, I only been fighting nine months, and I'm only 19 years old. I'm fighting now, someone nine, fighting only nine months and 19 years old, now they want me to fight for the title, they want me to fight a contender. That's absurd in boxing business. Uh -huh. That's just absurd. Yeah, but you're not, the, you're not the usual heavyweight. You're an unusual heavyweight. So if you think you're ready to fight in the top 10, why are you against it? Because my job is to fight and my manager's job is to manage. Uh -huh. If my manager went in the ring and fight Sammy Scaff, he wouldn't look so well and wouldn't do so well. And I feel the same doing his job. Okay. Now let's say, let's say that uh, tomorrow morning uh, your manager said I have a world title fight for you. There are three champions, Michael Spinks, Tony Tubbs, and Pinklin Thomas. Of the three, which would you rather fight? I fight anyone my manager choose for me to fight uh -huh. because if he feels confident I could beat him, I feel confident I could beat him also. Mike, you seem to have a good time. Do you enjoy boxing? Uh, do you, do you yeah, think you about it all the time? You have to love it to be the best at it. You have to love the sport. Mm -hmm. Anyone that's just in there to go for the money, it's good to be successful and have financial status. But if you only go in there for the money, you can only reach a, a certain status. And I'm in there for greatness and peace of mind. And I'm sure I, I love the sport. If I went in there just for the financial back, back, background, I wouldn't do as well as I'm doing now. Uh -huh. Let's go back a few years, maybe about five years to the age of 14. You had a few problems as a kid. And, and you found a man by the name of Customato and you found a sport called boxing. The combination of the two, what has it done for you? Oh, achieved my character personality 400, 500% as a human being besides the boxing aspect. Right now, I could quit boxing now and practically go into any kind of business, and I'll be successful just as well as I was in boxing. Uh -huh. And boxing did all that for you? And yes. customato, huh? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. what, uh, what's at the end of the rainbow besides the world heavyweight title? Have you got something else in mind? Uh... Well, I take only one step at a time. You're asking the wrong person. My only concern is boxing now. 
And as for at the end of the rainbow, I have to see what my occupation consists of. Uh-huh. I see. Give, longevity. Me, give me just uh, a little idea. What is a, a, a day in the life of Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson is just a hard-working fighter that lives a boring life as an individual. And it, everyone says, I wish I was in your shoe, I wish I was in your shoe. The people, the hundreds of people that wish they were in my shoe don't know the that's tenth right. of it. If they were that's in my shoe, they would cry like babies. That's the they couldn't handle that's it. That's true in almost every profession, Mike. Good luck to you. Thanks very much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Keep going. Good to see you. Back to Sam Rosa. Thank you, John. Well, maybe he doesn't live an exciting life outside the ring, but inside it's full of excitement. Mike Tyson, another first round knockout at 119 of the first round. He stopped Sammy Scaff, and Tyson is now 14 and 0 with 10 first round knockouts. More boxing is coming up.